What is up, YouTube? All right, so I'm going to reshoot this video. Uh, basically, talking about different types of cat food. Um, the reason why is just... Um, I don't have to say the reason why. If I can't tell you, I'm going to reshoot. I'm going to leave the other ones up. This one's going to be in more of a detail here. Okay, so, first one up is Blue Buffalo. See right there. Um, it's a pretty good food, actually. This is the one I typically normally feed. Uh, for three pounds, it's about fifteen dollars. Um, that's what I typically feed. Um, this is not. It is a holistic food. It is not um, a grain-free food, which is okay. Um, it's one of the more upper echelon foods. I'm going to be doing another review for another one tomorrow. Kana, um, Kana is actually really, really good. Um, <clears throat> Origin is also really good. A uh, taste of the wild. This one, uh, the blue buffalo is a chicken. Taste of the wild is a, um, well, I think it's venison and salmon. Roasted venison and smoked salmon. This is a grain-free food. Um, these two, are, last two, are loaded, or first two, I should say, are loaded with protein. Loaded. So I'm very, very comfortable feeding this. I'm going to mix these two, actually. So he still has some grain in his diet. But he also has uh, not a lot, and he gets like a ton of protein, which is what he's gonna get. So uh, I'm gonna let him go through half that bag first, and then half this bag, and then I'm gonna mix the two. Um, now I did not get. Either bag for free. Those two bags combined cost me almost $25. Uh, this bag I did get for free, which is going to be the next bag he eats so that we can get rid of it. Science diet. Um, it's, it's just because when you look in a... a uh, When you look in a um, in a pet food, what you want is to see beets, not grains. I mean, it's okay to see some grains, but further down the list, not you know, corn gluten you know, being the the third ingredient. And corn gluten meal should be down the list. Maybe seventh or eighth, not third. But corn gluten meal is third on this. And it gets worse from here. So this is not an upper echelon food. This is a very, very low echelon food. <laughs> like stuff that you don't want. What's up, Midnight? Um, I'm fighting for my other cat in court. And while I'm doing that, I also adopted another cat. So This one here, this is Midnight. You know, you're just a pink, so. Alright. Go back to sleep, buddy. Midnight was a stray. Um, for years, they don't know. And he sort of uh, background information on him is that he was a stray for a very long time he was very unhealthy very weak and uh, this next food that I'm gonna suggest after just a sample bag being mixed in so he still has some of it in the dish but even after just a sample bag of this stuff being mixed in 
he, uh, he's doing ten times better. That's nature's logic. Um, this is just, he hasn't even completed this bag yet, and it's been 100% turnaround. He's put on like two pounds, but muscle. And he isn't sleeping nearly as much. He's not nearly as tired as he used to be. Um, he's up, he's running around, and he's 10 years old. And he's up doing these things. Um, tomorrow, you'll love when I get you. I'm getting you a comment tomorrow. Um, and there's this food, Purina Naturals. Uh, iffy about this, and I'll tell you why. This is with added vitamins. What that means, for the people out there who don't know, that means that they're, they're synthetic. They're man-made vitamins. Which man-made vitamins, for both humans and animals, give you a, on average, 20% higher chance of contracting cancer, of getting cancer, I mean, than, than uh, non-synthetic vitamins. So you want your vitamins in a synthetic form, not with added. I mean, to a certain degree, all dry foods are going to have vitamins added because of the process of cooking the water out. Um, or extracting the water and cooking the food, it's going to take some of the vitamins out. But this 95% of the vitamins in here are added to, to, back into it. The problem with that is, is now you, you have this bag, right? And it's all this nasty stuff, this uh, chicken byproduct meal, corn gluten meal, soy flour, ground whole wheat, and brewer's rice, and animal fat. Yeah. Doesn't say what kind of animal it's from, just says animal fat. Problem with this is, well, it's not specified. All those ingredients, those first ingredients are garbage, pretty much. And where you have the vitamins come in at is at the bottom. Which means that those are some of the things of the food, like what's in the food, and that make up the least amount of it. So now you have synthetic vitamins being added to a food in minimal amounts. That's why you're getting this, you know, 3.15 pound bag for, for $6.00. But they put it in a fancy packaging. It says, Purina Ketchow Naturals. And like, with real chicken and salmon. The problem is, is, let's see how far down the ingredient list chicken and salmon are. Chicken and salmon are... Hold on. Chicken byproduct meal. That doesn't count. That could, that could be the, the beaks, the feathers, the whatever. Chicken byproduct meal, corn gluten meal. Natural flavor, maybe? But, oh, so chicken is like eight. So, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, chicken is ninth and salmon is tenth. And what's this natural flavoring they have? And there's other stuff in here, too. Uh, one of them is, like, beef flavor or something. Or natural. Something in there. I'm not going to keep going and wasting more time on this. Because we both know, or we all know, this is not going to be a food that you want to feed. Your $6. Or in converting this over to dog food. Or, or uh, when you have a 20-pound a bag or 30-pound bag. You know, and you're getting charged ten dollars for it. There's a reason for this. So, I'm just saying, this isn't going to be one something that you want to feed. This will taste to the wild. And move it over here. This will blue buffalo.
this maybe that no and this definitely not yeah it's cute got a picture cute little kitty on the back but then that little kitty ground yellow corn chicken byproduct meal corn gluten meal soybean meal uh whole wheat animal digest so crap so now they're eating feces by the way uh when you see high amount of crude protein and then you see something like meat meal yeah animals from rendering plants like pets animals like cats and dogs and you see meat meal that's what that is so taste of the wild yeah blue buffalo yeah science diet maybe if you have to free in a cat chow naturals no meow mix hell fucking no i'm gonna finish feeding those other foods though I'm going to mix him in good ones so he's not constantly getting McDonald's every time he eats, pretty much. Nature's logic. I'm going to hold out my opinion for that. I know I said it turned him around and, and 100%. I'm going to hold out my opinion for this because I want to make sure those effects are long-standing effects. But for what so far, nature's logic... The dog upstairs, I have canine duck and salmon feast for the dog upstairs, but I actually may mix it in with this cat food. The only thing, the only difference is cat food has taurine and dog food doesn't. And the protein is a little bit higher in, um, in cat food. So if I mix it with cat food then um, then it'll be okay. Because I'll get enough of it if I mix it well enough. Problem is, the only reason why I'm suggesting that is because of, <laughs> these are just small kibbles. And upstairs, we have a boxer. I don't think boxer a boxer is going to eat kibbles that are that size. Um, chicken, duck, or uh, canine, duck, and salmon meal feast. Canine, chicken, meal feast. Canine beef meal feast. Canine venison meal feast. So when I mix this in, I also might mix this in when I mix the blue buffalo and the taste of the wild. Because he'll already have the taste of venison in there. And this will just be more venison. And this right here is feline sardine meal feast. Feline turkey meal feast. Feline chicken meal feast. And this is feline or rabbit meal feast. He's eating the rabbit first. Um, and he loves it too. He's going to town on that stuff. Um, and so the ne next I will go into uh, wet food and then canned food and raw food. And there's going to be more throughout the week. I'm getting a ton of tomorrow. I should be getting the Purina Beneful or the uh, Purina uh, Beyond soon. Uh, I and Love and You is coming soon, which is great. Uh, I do believe also uh, Feline's Pride is coming soon. Nature's Balance is coming soon. Nature's Instinct is coming soon. They're all different formulas. We'll review them when we get there. So, peace. So, comment below. Next video is going to be on the other foods here. Peace.